On the 20th of April, Indian Navy Chief Admiral Sunil Lanba launched the third ship of Project 15B, named INS Imphal. The ceremony was held at Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders, Mumbai. Admiral Lanba said, The Indian Navy stands fully committed and we are extremely proud of the fact that all of our warships and submarines on order today are being constructed within the country. Admiral Sunil Lamba added, The synergetic partnership of MDL, Indian Navy, DRDO, OFB, BEL, other public sector enterprises and the private industry is ensuring that force levels are made available to meet India's national strategic objectives. The indigenously built Visa Kapatnam class stealth guided missile destroyer is a significant addition to India's ever growing military assets. The warship has been built keeping in mind the strategic needs of the Indian Navy. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how powerful is India's newest warship, INS Imphal. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank or aircraft and three days of premium account. The Visa Kapatnam class, Project 15B, is an improved version of the Kolkata class, Project 15A. The class comprises four ships, Visa Kapatnam, Mormugao, Imphal and Porbandar all of which are being built by the Mazagan Dock Limited. The Visa Kapatnam class have similar dimensions to the Kolkata class. However, it incorporates significant changes like a flush deck, a better acoustic signature and infrared signature reduction systems. Technical differences include the following. 1. The class is armed with a 127mm main gun. 2. The sonar is relocated from the hull to the bow. 3. A revised bridge layout and mass design is incorporated to reduce radar cross-section. 4. A railless helicopter traversing system is incorporated to secure the helicopter. 5. A network-centric layout is introduced with a ship data network SDN, an automatic power management system APMS, and a combat management system CMS. The class is designed indigenously by the Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design. Each ship spans 163 meters in length and 17.4 meters at the beam and displaces 7,300 tons. The ships of this class are propelled by four gas turbines to achieve speed in excess of 30 knots or 34 miles per hour or 55 kilometers per hour. MF Star is the I for INS Imphal. MF STAR is an acronym of Multi-Function Surveillance, Track and Guidance Radar. MF STAR can track hundreds of targets simultaneously. Its multi-function active electronically scanned array naval radar that can track incoming missiles and aircraft at ranges of 250 kilometers and sea skimming missiles at about 25 kilometers. The radar system is made up of four active arrays operating in the S-band. Each of the four arrays is positioned in one direction. It also has robust electronic counter techniques to extract low radar cross-section targets from complex clutter and jamming environments. The MF Star is considered to be as powerful as the US Navy's Aegis combat system that uses the ANSPY 1D radar and forms the core of America's most advanced Ticonderoga class cruisers and Arleigh Burke class destroyers. Secondary radar is Thales LW08 D band air search radar. Bell Humsa NG bow sonar is also present. INS Imphal has a diverse set of weapons. Two 16 cell VLS for a total of 32 cells for Barrack 8 air defense system. 
Chew 8 cells UVLM for 16 BrahMos anti-ship and land attack cruise missiles. For anti-submarine warfare, 4 533mm torpedo tubes, 2 RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers. There are multiple gun systems. One 127mm gun OTO Malara SRGM and four AK-630 CIWS. Kavach decoy suit is present to distract radar-guided missiles. Barrack 8 was jointly developed by Israel Aerospace Industries IAI, India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, Israel's Administration for the Development of Weapons and Technological Infrastructure, Alta Systems, Rafael and other companies. Barat Dynamics Limited BDL, is responsible for producing the missiles. The missile has a length of about 4.5 meters, diameter of 0.54 meters and a wingspan of 0.94 meters. Barrack 8 has maximum speed of Mach 2 with a maximum operational range of 100 kilometers. Barrack 8 features a dual pulse rocket motor as well as thrust vector control. This enables high degrees of maneuverability, making it very hard for the target to evade. The Barrack 8 missile system can operate by night as well as by day in addition to all weather conditions. It is capable of successfully dealing with simultaneous threats engagements, even in severe saturation scenarios. The system has a very short reaction time and a fast missile vertical launch capability with 360 degree coverage. A very important feature of Barrack 8 is that the minimum engagement range is only 0.5 kilometers, so the system can target an incoming hostile object till the very last seconds, potentially giving it the ability to target it multiple times. BrahMos is one of the fastest anti-ship missiles in operation and flies at about Mach 3, that's three times the speed of sound. It has a two-stage propulsion system with a solid propellant rocket for initial acceleration and a liquid-fueled ramjet responsible for sustained supersonic cruise. This speed gives it a lot of kinetic energy to obliterate the target. In tests, BrahMos has ripped ships in half. The missile has a current declared range of 450 kilometers, but its actual range is much higher as per analysts. There is already process underway to increase the range to 600 kilometers. It carries a 200 kilogram, that's 440 pound, conventional semi armor piercing or nuclear warhead. BrahMos is very accurate. For example, during one of the tests, the missile was able to distinguish between groups of buildings in an urban environment and hit the designated target. Even US will find it hard to defend against a salvo of BrahMos. To check that analysis, watch the video on the above card. Excellent radar, potent air defense and lethal anti-ship missile makes INS Imphal a world-class destroyer. It is expected to be operational by 2021. The important aspect is that it has been designed and manufactured indigenously. This basically means India is slowly getting self-sufficient when it comes to building high-quality destroyers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.